Hey guys, this is the Android Manual, and today I'm going to show you how to flash AOKP Milestone 6 for your HTC DSRX. So, first of all, what you're going to need is an HTC DSRX, a computer running Microsoft Windows or Linux, Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it. Next is a cable. There, yeah, a cable. If you don't know what this is, it's a cable. Cable distributed by HTC people. Yes. Okay. Uh, next thing, if you're on Windows, you're going to need. Oh no, that's not that. Not not that. That's my Facebook. Uh, yes, you're going to need this toolkit made by Hansoon 2000, found on the HTC Cyrix development forum. Yes, so that will make everything easier. So uh, I I beg, uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry because I am on Ubuntu. Because if I switch to Windows, my PC will keep on crashing and. I can't do anything with it, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point what to do with the cursor here. I am very sorry. Uh, uh, people might say, you idiot, make a virtual machine. Uh, yes, I will make a virtual machine, and maybe I will make a follow up video for this. So, uh, again, I am sorry. So, first of all, get your DSRX here. Uh, freaking Zarex that never get the update from HTC. But I still like it though. Okay. Now uh, get your Zarex. Zarex and unlock it. Uh, I don't ask me what arm I'm running. I'm running Sensor Evolution R6. Yeah, R6. So oh, fucking piece of shit. Okay, there we go. Now, in here, you reboot. Damn. Okay, you reboot to bootloader. There you go, bootloader mode. Then, get your cable and plug it into your computer. It doesn't matter what computer you're using, just plug the cable in and you'll be okay. You'll be alright. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be alright. Uh, okay, now plug, plug, fucking English, plug. <laughs> Your cable onto your DSRX, yeah, you should be on fast boot mode. So if you use the DB to boot your phone into boot loader mode, it should be in this pre menu here. Okay, now if you use the DB, you can see these bunch of options. Now you select fast boot because you're worthless without boot loader or either a cable or anything on this tutorial. Without it. Okay, now. On your computer, really what I'm gonna do, Microsoft dudes. Okay, now in here, you first download this program made by the amazing Hansoon 2000, found on this dev host folder. You download it, save it to your computer. First of all, you need to install Java for this to work. Uh, without Java, this is nothing. So, yeah. Just close my face back. Okay. Okay. Now, in here, this after downloading it, you're gonna see the folder with uh, this RX, uh, this RX all-in-one toolkit. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name. You extract it to your desktop. Okay. Now, go click install HTC drivers first, then go. I will install the right drivers for your HTC DSRX so it will be recognized by ADB or Fastboot. Okay, now next, I will do the one for Linux. Okay, Linux. Linux, HTC drivers are not needed for this operating system since they install automatically. Now, after, now next, next step. Okay, after installing HTC drivers, you go here. Uh, flash. <coughs> you go to the 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 the, the, the Cyrix folder. Okay, now uh, you should have ROM. That zip. Where the hell? Is it? Okay. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, in the ROM. That zip. There will be a boot dot image. Okay. Drag that inside the data folder of the uh, the Cyrix all-in-one toolkit. Now. Uh. If you are in Windows Vista or Windows 7 or Windows 8, just uh, wait. 
you uh, you hold your you hold your shift key. Uh, this is my shift key. Your should look different. Shift key, then uh, right click on the folder okay, to show uh, a pop up menu, and you select uh, open a new command window here. Okay, that should be directly on the directory where you have the boot on image and your fast boot on exe located. Okay. Now next for the Linux users. Okay. Uh, most of you guys must must wonder how to install a fast boot and ADB on this uh, operating system. So you just type in here ADB and yeah uh, uh, sudo app get install ADB uh, sudo app get uh, sudo whatever just search on XDA so it's some something like sudo app get install Android platform flat platform tools ADB sorry as so I can speak English and do the same with fast boot okay now uh, now you should have your command window uh, Linux, uh, Microsoft users follow me it's just the same without the sudo command okay now type in fast boot sudo is for Linux users only so if you're on Linux you type sudo first okay, sudo if you're in Microsoft, don't type sudo because sudo is a super user request on Linux, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Type in sudo fastboot. Make sure you have Java installed on Linux as well. Uh, sudo fastboot erase cache. Okay. So, I see again if you're using Microsoft Windows. Vista 7 or 8, even XP, don't type sudo, just type, just type fast boot erase cache, and then press enter. If you're, uh, if you're in Windows, it should say something like this. Sorry, I'm typing with one hand, I suck at typing with one hand. Yeah, it should say something like, okay, erasing cache, okay, blah, 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 no one cares about this. Okay. Now, you repeat the same command except you type in fast boot. Damn, okay. Type in fast boot. Fast boot flash boot. Boot dot image. So, the boot dot image. If you rename the boot image to something different, you name it like uh, Pacman that image, or since since kernel that image or something like that. So I, I rename mine to AOKP that image. So it's easier to say which kernel did it come from. What the heck is AO, AOSP AOKP AOKP dot oh shit. Okay, that image. Okay, now once again I repeat for you. Linux users only. Sudo is super user, and Microsoft users no sudo. Just fast boot flash boot. Or, yeah, just remove the sudo for everything. Okay. Okay, there you go. Now this is done. The video is too long. Yeah. Okay, back to your pre Xerox. Now press the power button once again. There, if you don't see it, my power button. Yes, no one cares. Okay, now go back to bootloader or the main page of the HBoot. Okay, now here go to recovery. Regardless of what recovery you're using, use Clockwork Mod Recovery 6.012 Touch or Non Touch. Okay. Uh, la 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 la. Okay, stupid ten. Okay, now in here. Oh yeah. Uh, thanks for the dark. Thanks to Dark Passenger for making this official recovery. Okay, now do a wipe data factory reset. Just delete all user shit. Oh yeah, make sure to back up your data using titanium backup or back up your text messages using SMS backup plus or back up any data in your SD card if you want. 
Okay, now go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and find a zip. Damn zip. Okay, now let's just find that stupid zip. Where the hell is that zip? Ah, so many ROMs inside. Damn. Um, um, okay, there we go. Yes, you install this. Uh, AOKP milestone 6. Yes, uh, the G apps is included inside. So yeah, I repeat again on on the terminal while typing the the fast boot commands. If you're using Microsoft Windows 7, Windows Vista, or Windows 8, don't type sudo. Just type fast boot erase cache and su uh, fast boot flash boot boot dot image or image name. Okay, so. I guess that wraps it up. This is the end of the video. Uh, it will take too long if I wait for that thing to finish. That thing to be exact. It's long than what you expect. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you download Hansoon 2000 Toolkit. Uh, if you know how to use it, you probably won't need this tutorial anymore. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, again, thank you to all the people that made this possible. The Android manual and all the other people amazing out there. Okay, so if it's successful, you should be able to see the the Nexus One boot animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but that's probably end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, the buttons are over there at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.